To the southern border right now, preliminary Customs and Border Protection stats are out for the month of August. Total, app total apprehensions now over 186,000. Total gotaways, 42,000. Joining us now to discuss, retired senior special agent for the INS, Michael Cutler. Uh, Michael, how should we assess these? These numbers still, I mean, it's hard to keep track of them. They're so high. Um, how do you make those numbers go down? And why isn't the current administration doing those things? Well, look, the immigration system has become a delivery system for our corrupt politicians. It delivers an unlimited supply of cheap, exploitable labor. And by the way, it's not just the illegals. It's the high-tech visas and so forth. Delivers an unlimited supply of foreign tourists, foreign students. And for the immigration lawyers, think of this one, both sides of the aisle, an unlimited supply of clients, as well as clients for the NGOs who are now housing the illegal aliens. I just wrote an article for Front Page magazine about that. So if you understand... Uh, what we're really looking at is a national security nightmare. And it's not just the southern border. I don't know why no one is paying attention to the Canadian border or why no one's paying attention to how many aliens enter through ports of entry, as did most of the terrorists. You know, we're coming up on the 21st anniversary of the terror attacks of 9-11. What I find particularly frustrating is I provided testimony not only to the 9-11 Commission, but to many congressional hearings. The policies of the Biden administration run 180 degrees in opposition to the findings and recommendations of the 9-11 Commission. So when you look at sanctuary cities like New York, Washington, D.C., uh, Chicago, Illinois, San Francisco, Los Angeles, they can scream all they want about this influx of illegal aliens being shipped north by the uh, governor of Texas. But the reality is these cities have been overwhelmed by millions of illegal aliens for decades, and in part, their policies to not cooperate with immigration law enforcement, to provide driver's licenses to illegal aliens, which, by the way, is really worrisome because around the world, the weapon of choice does not involve airplanes for terrorists, but motor vehicles. Uh, why is anybody shocked that these people would come here? So... In addition to the illegals coming into our country and putting an onus on us uh, as far as drugs are concerned, as far as taxes yep. are concerned, as they're spent on emergency rooms, you know, paying for services, paying for schools, uh, paying for all kinds of things. You're adding another one, and you're including Canada in this. You're yes. saying terrorists are using this because they're not stupid. Mm -hmm. They may be evil, but they're not stupid. So your, your contention is that Terrorists are also using this porous border to infiltrate yep. us. To what end, do you think? Well, to carry out attacks. And it's not only uh, ISIS and al-Qaeda. You're looking at Iran. You know, there was a hearing in 2018 by the House Subcommittee on Intelligence and Terrorism about how Hezbollah, which is an Iranian-backed terrorist organization, you think Hezbollah, you think Middle East, actually they have thousands of their operatives working throughout Latin America with human traffickers and drug smugglers to move people and narcotics into the United States. And if you look at the fentanyl, China is right there making a ton of money. We're losing so many kids, especially. Last year, over 100,000 died, not just of overdoses, but poisoning. If you look at the way the fentanyl is packaged, it looks like candy. It looks like other legal drugs, pharmaceuticals. So to me, this is all chemical warfare being waged against America. And we have a compliant administration with Joe Biden, who's doing nothing to stop any of these activities. And the drug money, by the way, funds terrorism. It funds Hezbollah. It's funding our enemies. Um, the gangs have free access to America. I want to know one simple question, and this is the question that every American should ask every politician, whatever the issue. How are your policies in the best interests of the average American? Because I don't imagine a single way that anyone could be honest and say that the current situation benefits any American citizen or benefits America itself. Yeah, Michael Cutler, that's exactly what we're asking and what a lot yep. of Americans are asking as they see this continue month after month, and those numbers in the hundreds of thousands, and they add up to over millions. So, uh, Michael, thank you for your thoughts on this. Thank you for having me. Thanks for covering it. Yes, sir.
Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today. 